Hi, my name is Elisa Morimoto, and I am the Director of Operations of House of Blues Music Forward Foundation. In this role, I wear a lot of hats. I am uh, accounting and finance and HR, risk management, IT, um, and overall just supporting the growth and development of our team members. There are so many women who have inspired me. It's hard to pick just one. I admire women leaders who are comfortable in their skin, lead from an authentic, personal place, and treat others well and compassionately. And I, I've met so many women leaders who model this for me and lead by example and inspire me to really find my authentic leadership uh, style. I would also say that my sister has inspired me. Uh, she is incredibly decisive leader, uh, action-oriented, very thoughtful and thorough, and I admire her personal leadership style as well as her career trajectory. I don't see them as barriers. I see them as I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly trying things. Uh, and I put trust in myself to figure it out or to find other people to help me figure it out. So there are opportunities. I am very much of the anything that you've heard that you've wanted to try, you know, inspirational speakers to meditation in the morning to buying a great outfit and getting your hair done. At, I think all of those things are, are tools at, at our disposal, and I've used all of them. To my younger self, I would say that you'll figure it out, that you should continue to try things, network more, and uh, be positive, and always go forward and, and say yes. I think success is being attuned to yourself and to your surroundings being present. I think there are different stages of work-life balance that exists and it's being able to take that moment and pause and, and look around into yourself and around yourself to see if everything is right with your values and right with what you want to do. As long as you can do that, then I think you find success at different stages and in different ways. When I graduated from college, I remember feeling like I didn't have a very specific career path in place in front of me. I was a peace and justice studies major, which isn't exactly the uh, career path uh, defining major to have. And I have found looking back at that time that exploring different things, different pieces of myself, understanding different concepts, philosophies, uh, different theories that I study that maybe are not as applicable to the how to do my current job, that it has been so critical in framing my, my path forward. And I hear advice when I attend these panels as an audience member uh, to artists that say, you know, it's about the creativity and about the artistry. And I think in, in my career path, it's that similar in that it's about yourself and finding yourself and understanding that it's to help guide you as you go along your career path. And that the learning of the how-to pieces, they will come. Uh, might have to do a little catch-up, <laughs> but they will come. I started off in the nonprofit field and then I shifted to a for profit company um, in a larger company, believing that I would find different structure, understanding language, and infrastructure that I was just eager to immerse myself in. And I did, I found that. And that ended up taking me across the world. So I moved with my family for a couple of years to South Africa and helped lead a team there um, in corporate recruiting. I would say another big moment for me is I had my daughter pretty early, just starting out my career. And that created a lens for me also when I was thinking about how to provide and not being a person, frankly, who was very hierarchically oriented. It gave my life a certain sense of definition and focus because I was the provider. And I think that that has shaped it in such a, a positive and important way very early for me. But I knew that I wanted to come back to the nonprofit field. And I find that the space that I'm in now is, is kind of that perfect intersection 
of different sectors of the nonprofit and the for-profit and I find people want to do positive things in the world and uh, it doesn't matter what sector that you're in, uh, be it nonprofit or for-profit. And just finding that this space enables those conversations to happen. It would be some sort of medley because I feel like my life has been a lot of different pieces and a lot of different rhythms and a lot of different moments. I generally am an optimist, so the song I would pick would be Here Comes the Sun by Beatles.